What's going on YouTube, GS right here. So in today's video we have a short recap on what's currently going on in the jailbreak community for the iOS 12, iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4. This video is geared more towards those of you who missed this information or want a bigger picture of what's currently going on to help you make a decision on which iOS version you should stay and we also have some news to discuss. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their program Rayboot, which helps you fix iOS 12 and iOS 11 problems, enter and exit recovery mode, and of course fix the phone stuck in the Apple logo or the iTunes logo. Check them out in the link below. So I'm going to start with the fact that this video is geared towards iOS 11.4, which is no longer signed, 11.4.1 and 12. If you're watching this in the future where the signing status has changed, some of the information in this video may no longer be relevant. So please keep that in mind. And speaking of iOS 12, I'm going to start with that. The situation of the iOS 12 is actually pretty good at this point in the jailbreak community. When iOS 12 got released by Apple a few weeks ago, every developer in the community said that you shouldn't update to it because because it's hard to jailbreak and because of core trust enhancements which prevent of course fake signing and so on. However, multiple developers since then have managed to jailbreak successfully and if you remember Minspark Zeng posted just a few days ago quote iOS 12 jailbreak on iPhone 10s by Pangu team, bypass PAC which is pointer authentication codes, mitigation on the new A12 chip, that's amazing. And yes, that is indeed amazing and the PAC or pointer authentication codes is something quite hard to bypass since this is part of the new ARM V8.3 which is supported in the A12 chip which is part of the new iPhone XS, XR and XS Max. So for the Pangu team and of course for the jailbreak community this is a very big achievement especially since the A12 chip has has been introduced just a few weeks ago. The iPhone XS has been introduced just a few weeks ago, so to have it already jailbroken with the biggest security mitigation technique already bypassed is definitely incredible. And if you take a look in here, Yumang has also confirmed that his upcoming iOS 12 jailbreak exploits are still okay. He said, quote, status of my vulnerabilities and potential iOS 12 jailbreak. Bugs are alive and well, and I'm able to successfully jailbreak my A11 and A10 devices. Now remember, these are pre-iPhone XS, XS Max or XR, for example 10 and 8. Can't say about the new ones, since they aren't available in India yet, I'm looking at the release timeline for the iOS 12.1. But there is no reason to upgrade your devices yet if you're already jailbroken or would rather stay on iOS 11. So as you can see, even though Pangu team might not release their jailbreak anytime soon, we do have developers who are willing to release their vulnerabilities, and one of them is is Yumang who will release his vulnerabilities. Now for those of you interested in iOS 12 internals and the kernel and so on, Jonathan Levin has posted quote JTool2 Alpha now works directly on the compressed kernel caches and getting functionality of Joker including symbolication and disassembly. So for those of you who are interested in a tool that can disassemble the kernel from the new iPhone XS, XS Max or XR, the JTool2 is able to do that and has been released as an alpha. You can check it out in the description down below if you want to mess with the kernel yourself. As for the iOS 11.4.1, which as you can see here is currently signed, we also have upcoming vulnerabilities from Iron Beer. If you take a look in here, he posted just a few days ago, quote, and if you're using the MPTCP or the VFS exploits for security research, for example, with Electra 11.3.1, you should just keep using that. I will release the iOS 11.4.1 exploits I have, but the focus will shift to iOS 12 now. You can definitely stay on iOS 11.4.1 as it's as jailbreakable as the iOS 12. And of course, it might as well be better since iOS 11.4.1 doesn't have any core trust mitigations that iOS 12 has. So on iOS 11.4.1, once a kernel exploit is available, it should be quite trivial to update the Electra jailbreak to work with 11.4.1, which is definitely something good because it means that 11.4.1 might be jailbroken publicly faster than the iOS 12. So of course, you should keep that in mind. But of course, if you didn't update to either 11.4.1 or 12 and you're still running 11.4, do not worry, there is still iOS 11.4 vulnerability by Brandon Z. He said, quote, iOS full user space compromised via malicious crashing versions up to 11.4 
are vulnerable, but the exploit only targets 11.2.6. There is a write-up available at this link in here, which was put together by Brandon, and it's actually quite good. So his exploit can be, of course, adapted to work all the way up to iOS 11.4, which is definitely something good, because this means that at this point, the 11.4, 11.4.1 and 12 are all vulnerable to hell, pretty much giving you the freedom to move in the jailbreak community on whatever version you prefer, because all of them are vulnerable at this point. Anyways, what I recommend is to go ahead in here on TSS Saver and save your blobs for all the versions that are currently signed, that is 11.4.1 and 12, and of course keep them somewhere safe. You will need them in the future for downgrades or for upgrades. This video has been brought to you by Wondershare. They currently have a contest where you can win the new iPhone XR. All you have to do is to navigate here, select which iPhone do you like from the ones released this year, and you will enter their giveaway, and if you're lucky, you can win the new iPhone XR. Good luck and check them out. Thank you for watching guys, this is pretty much what's going on currently in the jailbreak community, I really hope this makes sense, and as for this video, it should be pretty clear that both iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 should be pretty safe for a jailbreak right now and you should stay on them, but if you're running iOS 12 and you have already updated, it shouldn't be that bad either, especially considering that it has already been jailbroken privately, both untethered and semi-tethered, so it's definitely great. Thank you for watching, do not forget to Subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.